The center has been offering integration and settlement services in the southwest for the last two years. After proving to be a successful and much needed part of the community, the organization has now grown to the point that it can operate as a standalone entity. Settlement Services Coordinator Annika Henderson gives us a better idea of what this will mean for the center. Up until this point we've been associated with Great Plains College and in fact been part of Great Plains College uh, as of I think officially it'll all transfer and roll over as of September 1st uh, when we'll become a standalone nonprofit um, as the Newcomer Welcome Centre. The Centre and Great Plains College are both very happy because the plan was always to become a standalone entity. The college is currently in the process of reaching out to a few different groups who will act as a board for the centre. Great Plains President Mark Frieson explains the role that board will take. They'll take over the governance of the centre. We've been doing work uh, in terms of setting up their financial system, some of their policy, um, now looking for somebody to help out on the governance side. Uh, and uh, so there'll be a very smooth transition. The Newcomer Welcome Centre will make a move to another building just across the street this summer. The organization will also grow to offer more employment opportunities. Up until now we've had uh, myself as the only full-time person there. We've also been fortunate to have um, a program through CANSASC uh, related to immigrant job readiness um, and through that we have a part-time program uh, employee um, and then we also have another uh, 10 hour a week position at the Welcome Centre. Uh, once we move over we will have uh, th about three full-time positions. The programming in Swift Current has shown a lot of success and is acting as a model for other areas of the province. The college will remain involved with the centre by having an appointed board member and other staff members involved with the programming. Frizon outlines other aspects of involvement. We also as a college have a core role that we play in terms of immigrant settlement and integration um, relative to uh, English as a second language services uh, uh, and training. So you know we're still going to be heavily involved in the file. Over the next few months, programming at the centre is expected to grow and with extra staff, they hope to be able to offer better services to the rural areas of the province. For Southwest TV News, I'm Kara Rapke.